What's up everybody else? Everybody doing today, man. You already know how it go. It's your boy B back with another video. If you haven't already, man, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't know who I am. My name is Brandon Jones and I specialize off in you. Yes, I said it. You make an extra income, guys. And today we're gonna be talking about how I make money and how you can make money in 2023 online. Now, I just want to make a disclosure. Everything you're getting from me is clear cut and raw. I'm not telling you you can make $500 a day flipping this water bottle or a trending product on TikTok. If you, that's what you're looking for, this ain't the video for you. I'm here to tell you the exact truth on how I make money and literally things that I do, you can do. Nothing I do is special. I want to I wanna just start off there. Nothing that I do is special. Everything I do, you can do, okay? It's all about you having the work ethic and also the connections, networking, because your net worth is your network, of course, and making sure that you're implementing all of your work ethic and you want it as bad as you, you gotta want it as bad as you wanna breathe. You got to, and understand that it's gonna be ups, downs, highs, lows, but I got a message from somebody today and I'm not gonna disclose the full conversation, but long story short, they said, I did not sign up for this and to, sum it all up my response to that is it's hard being an entrepreneur sometimes things happen to where you have to send invoices your sites get taken down um people complain about things that you've already said a billion times customers aren't happy customers are happy but you always got that one person that want to hate on you or you gotta deal with scrutiny. You gotta deal with criticism. Your family doesn't want you to do it. Your family doesn't support. There's so many negatives in this, right? But we have to focus on the positives and also understand what is working and what isn't, okay? And I was reading a book this weekend um, and it's Atomic, Atomic Habits. And this book really opened my eyes and I'm going to start implementing different things I've learned and I am learning because I'm still learning, I'm always a student, but it basically said that goals are not important. And you guys know I've been the biggest advocate on you setting your goals, but the truth is, is your goals are a part of your evolution and your success, but the true success comes from systems. So having a system to make sure that you're operating efficiently so that you are as successful as you wanna be. And I couldn't have said it any better. The book broke that down and it really helped me open my eyes because I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I have been going through a hard time myself as an entrepreneur with making money. And guys, making money ain't everything. You still want things to work out um, in your favor. And I can give you a prime example. UPS strike, okay? UPS postal strike, that has been tearing my behind up, whether it's me getting merchandise to my store um, or whatever, it's annoying, but these are uncontrollables. But one thing I will never say is I did not sign up for this because I literally signed up for this, okay? If you're scared and you want some type of security and you want somebody to blame other than yourself, then that's when you sit there and you stick with getting a pension, and working for the rest of your life and not working on your dreams. Working and working on your dreams is fine, but just working, being steadfast, putting your head down to work for somebody else on their dream and not even focus on yours, that to me, my personal opinion, that's a cop out. That is you basically saying, hey, I just wanna go behind somebody else's shadow and I just wanna just be able to relax, coast through life and not deal with the problems. And some people take that route, but me personally and the people in the audience I'm talking to, I'm not expecting you to take that route. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you, all right? So guys, I'm gonna tell you guys some of my income streams, I cannot break them all down because of different reasons. Some I have business partners and they don't sign off on me breaking this down online, so I won't. Um, but the first income stream that I'm talking about is phone flipping, of course. I flip phones and I enjoy it. This is one of the most lucrative um, income streams I have, but also one of the most problematic because at the end of the day, it's so sporadic, right? Sometimes you'll have phones, sometimes you won't. Sometimes you'll have people sell you blacklisted phones, you'll take losses, you'll take profits, but it is a very sporadic, in-depth um, income stream because you gotta pay attention to the details. You have to make sure 
that you are very tentative with your money. You are literally just flipping your money, flipping your money. You're putting money out and the devices that you're buying, that device is worth the money you just paid for it, plus more. You have the bias price list, which you can get at imhustlesmindset.com. You have the phone flipping academy. I give you guys so many tools to start this. There's no way you shouldn't be starting this, okay? Um, I make a very good amount of money doing this and I enjoy it. I enjoy the highs and lows and I did sign up for it. So no matter what happens, I gotta figure a way out. When an obstacle comes my way, I do not just sit there and wait for the obstacle to disappear because it's never gonna happen. I have to figure it out every single time. So phone flipping is very problematic because you just never know what you're gonna get. You never know what you're going to lose. You have to do your research no matter if your baby's in the back crying, no matter if somebody's in the hospital, no matter if you don't got a dime in your pocket. You gotta make something happen with this income stream. You gotta make whatever you got work. All right, so you have to understand that phone flipping is a very detail-oriented income stream, especially if you don't want to have to take any type of losses. So the second one that I have is reselling electronics. This was my first income stream when it came to me being on myself, one that I love very dearly, but one you guys also know I've had turbulence with. And I've had turbulence online. I've been expressing myself, especially when I go live, because you know I go live 8 p.m. every single weekday. Um, but when it comes to electronic reselling, you have your eyes and you have your lows. You can make a good amount of money, but at the same time, you always got something that happens. Whether it is the poster strike, people not bringing the products that you need to ship out to customers, or whether it is literally a platform striking you down so you can't sell stuff. No matter what, it is annoying as heck, okay? It's very annoying, very frustrating, very just, ah, oh, okay? But, you have to understand it comes with the game. If you don't get anything from this video, I want you to understand making money in 2023 online is easy, it's easy. What's not easy is what comes with it. Stress, having other people's expectations on your back, making sure that you represent your brand in an appropriate way, hiring other people, making sure that you're feeding their families. It's a lot, okay? So flipping electronics is a very, lucrative, but it's also a very scary income stream because you never know. You never know when a site is going to try, or a website hoster is going to say you're trying to do copyright infringement. You're like, what the heck? I ain't even do nothing. So you just never know. And it's very annoying, very upsetting. Um, but at the end of the day, what are we gonna do about it? We have to keep going. We cannot stop. We cannot let anything dictate what our moves are. The moment we do that, the moment we lose, okay? And we don't have any options to lose. We are only here to win, okay? We're on, it's Monday right now. We're only here to win. It is 5.30 in the morning. 5.30 in the morning, but I know I gotta do this video because guess what? I have products to flip i have things to do okay guys and it's, it's just what it is okay and then my third income stream is wholesaling okay i wholesale electronics speaking of things to do that takes the majority of my day me going to different stores because i sell to electronic stores so phone stores i try to make sure i replenish them with goods all of that stuff is stressful because you have to drive there, you have to be on time, you have to make sure you represent your brand again. But you also have to make sure your prices is right. You, you have to make sure your prices is right. And and sometimes that, that can cause turbulence because it's like, I'm stressed, but guess what? Whether something happened in my personal life or whether something happened in business, I got these stories depending on me to bring them money, right? So with wholesaling guys, you can make money whether you find socks or whether you find whatever, whatever you, whatever product you find that is a good price, small price, that you can actually excel and sell to other people for a higher price. Prime example, if I got water, which people do this in Philly all the time, they get water from Walmart, then they'll go onto this road called Roosevelt Boston Boulevard, called Roosevelt Boulevard, and they'll sell these waters for like $2. And they only pay $5 for the whole case. But they understand supply and demand. And when people are driving, they're not in Walmart, right? They don't want to pull up, pull up to the Walmart parking lot. They hot. They just want to get the water. 
so they pay for it. So it's all about wholesaling, making sure that you are getting something at a price to where you can sell it in bulk because they don't just sell one water. I have a guy that be all in the world of a boulevard when I pull over and I stop at a red light, he's like, yeah, two for 12, five for da da da. It's like he already has a price in his head for bulk to try and incentivize people to go and buy the product. And it's the same thing with you guys. You can do it. It doesn't have to be electronics. It can be whatever you want. You literally can go ahead and make people buy things from you if you have a Connect or if you have a Ross, a, a Macy's, a Snipes, whatever, and you can sit there and get these materials. Maybe you know somebody that work at Fit Locker and they be hooking you up on the low. You can sell shoes no matter what you just have to make sure you're getting things at a low price point and then you'll be able to just upcharge and sell it to more individuals for more money it's so easy what comes with it is just making sure that you're organized making sure that you're making it a point to have great customer service to always include your customers to always make sure that you're giving them the best quality you listen your brand is your brand and you got to make sure you represent your brand in the right way the right manner and that's one of the biggest things that i would say represent your brand in the right manner and you'll make money in 2023 you have so many different things so many different aspects in life that you can capitalize off of but i'm telling you your brand is going to be the most important thing you may not think somebody's paying attention to it but if you just saying hey my name is john and i sell electronics you're in the wrong field because john you need to make sure that instead of you being named john you have an llc which is free to make make that LLC, make a business name, and that is your business. Do not just resell products and think that you're just gonna do it as an individual. Why, why do that? Why do that when you can sit there and put it as an LLC, claim it on your taxes, claim your expenses, so whether it is you assess buying something from Connecticut, um, Carolina, Florida, Cali, New York, wherever, you can actually Claim those expenses. There's so many different ways that you'll be able to make money literally by creating an LLC. And I'll make a video further in detail with that. But it's like, yo, come on now. Just don't just think of it in a small scale. Think of it in a huge scale. Make your business work for you. Make your business speak for you. Make your brand speak for you. The next income stream, the fifth one that I have, is just making sure that I am projecting on individuals. So I can I consider this teaching education. So I just started this probably almost a year now. And, or maybe a year now. I've been on YouTube doing this for like a year now. And I think for maybe six, seven months. But nevertheless, um, if you know how to do something, whether it's fix phone, straw, act, um, cook whatever you know how to do you should be teaching people how to do it because you have a set of skills right and we talked about this on the i'm hustlers mindset podcast last thursday we do a podcast every thursday live right here at 8 p.m so make sure you tune in but we talked about this and um the gentleman i had on lamar he said that he believes everybody's born with a certain set of skills now, do I believe that? No, but he does. So we just gonna rock with what he said, right? Let's just say everybody was born with a certain set of skills. The skills that you're born with that I don't have. Why do you think that you should monetize the skills that you have? Because the people that don't have them, maybe can use them. Maybe they can use them in their field or whatever they desire to do in life. They can use those skills. So why not make sure that you're providing them with them skills and also making some money? It's easy, y'all. Uh, that is one of the easiest income streams on this list because it's already in you. You right there, you do something great. Like, I don't care who, how old, with where you live, you do something great. We all do something great. So it's like, for you to capitalize on that is going to bring you extraordinary profits. I'm telling you right now, extraordinary profits. So you need to make sure that you're projecting that and make sure that you're using it to your advantage. If you wanna make money, 
get your butt online, make a YouTube. I don't know who needs to hear this. Somebody need to hear this, that's why I'm saying this. Cause uh, this ain't no script, I don't do scripted videos. Everything I do is off my heart. If you right now watching this and you have a skill you've been thinking and, and, and hindering and trying to hinder, hindering, hindering yourself and trying to make it make sense to yourself or procrastinate, let's say that, the time is now. Pick up a camera, get on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, whatever your preferred platform and teach somebody, reach out to somebody. Affecting people and helping them is one of the most gratifying things you can ever do. Trust me, I'm doing it and it's so gratifying. It, it's like, I found my place. I found what I love to do. It just doesn't feel like work, it feels good, okay? And I love it. So I'm telling you right now, this is something you need to embrace, something you need to make sure that you're doing. Um, because it's going to bring you money. And last but not least, I do two more things actually, not just one. So the next one I'm going to say, I do phone repair. So phone repair is pretty good. Okay. I have a phone screen, uh, connect, of course, um, a factory I work with in Philadelphia that provides me with screens. I can fix somebody's screen for very, very cheap. Um, or I can upcharge them screen repair. I've been doing that for around. 12 years, 13 years, easy, easy breezy, cover girl. It's easy, okay? Um, and people always break their phones. People always break their screens. And it's just like, why not, right? Um, now, I personally have fell back on it and I have other people doing it, but that's a good income. If you know how to flip phones, cool. But if you know how to fix screens, listen, you got people actually coming to you. Now, I'm not gonna lie, you can learn how to fix phones on YouTube. You can learn how to fix phones anywhere. Fixing phones is not complicated, it's easy. And that's something that you can do right now. You can learn how to do that right now and you can take that skill and people actually are going to need you. Like that's becoming, like you're becoming essential at that point because phones are how people communicate. And if you can make sure that people are com communicating with each other by fixing phones, how are they turning you down? How are they gonna turn you down? How are they gonna sit there and say, I don't wanna pay this when you're the only one in the vicinity fixing phones? They have to pay you what you wanna pay. It's just like a mechanic. So I would say doing that and being a phone repair specialist is something that I would recommend everybody uh, to do because that is something you can make an extraordinary amount of money on for sure, guys. And last but not least, store, okay? I own stores, you guys know that that is something that is lucrative i do want to make a video um an updated video about you know what you should look for when buying a store um or if you're trying to start a store whether it's an electronic store whether it's a clothing store whether it's a tech store pawn shop whatever there's things you have to look at there's things you have to make make sense before you do it um i would say owning a store it's fine, it's good, um, but you just have to understand that it takes a lot, it's like a baby, and it takes a lot because you have to be there for a long time before you trust anybody to just be in your store. And you also gotta make sure that you're in a safe environment, you got good people working around you, honest people, you got staff, you got products, you got the right landlords, you got the right um, deal as far as rent, you don't wanna be paying too much, you don't want to sit there and have to pay for too many utilities. It's so much. But at the same time, opening up a storefront, a brick and mortar storefront is something that I would recommend not for everybody because it's not for everybody, but I would recommend the person that really wants to start a business and really wants to make an imprint on their community to definitely do it because it's something that is a great learning lesson. It's something that is a great feeling when people are coming in and spending money and you know that that's going exactly to your account. It is a good feeling and it's something that I think a lot of people should feel. Not everybody, but a lot of people should feel. It's a really good feeling and it's something that I think built me um, stronger, uh, smarter, and listen, you can do it. It's just all about are you willing to sacrifice and put in the work that's needed. All right, guys, so 
those are my income streams. Those are ways that I have for you guys to make money in 2023. If you guys have any questions, of course, leave it below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. You already know I love y'all. If you haven't already, make sure you go and follow our Discord. Also, go to imusismindset.com. Buy all of your needs, whether it's a phone flipping price list, phone flipping academy, whether it's the phone flipping, um, free phone flipping checklist, whether it is you doing any product reselling classes. Guys, I got your back like a bra strap. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.